Ancient yogis have known for thousands of years that the key to maintaining your youth is to keep your spine flexible. Do not underestimate the power of the basic spinal twist for detox, adrenal support, and to keep yourself young and vibrant. The spinal twist is a gentle, inexpensive, yet very powerful detox procedure that you must have in your detox toolkit. It's an important part of the nutritional balancing program because it's one another component that helps bring the body back into a loose, relaxed, limber state and balancing the body so that it can help begin to heal itself. If you have adrenal fatigue or adrenal burnout, um, this is a wonderful way to replenish the adrenals because when we twist, we constrict the blood flow, and then when we release, we open the blood flow again to bring fresh nutrients and blood to the adrenal glands and our other organs as well. The basic spinal twist I'm going to show you in this video, if done regularly, not only helps keep your spine flexible and in alignment, but it helps with digestion, back pain, stress relief, and relaxation. The routine I'm gonna show you today is a wonderful way to begin and end your day. You can do these exercises laying down on a bed, on a couch, or on the floor. I'll be showing you four variations of the spinal twist that slowly increase in the amount of twist that your spine gets. So if you're new to this, definitely start out with the first one and work your way up to the more advanced ones. If you have back problems, definitely ease into this exercise and go very slowly. And if it's a very serious back uh, problem that you're dealing with, consult your doctor or your chiropractor before starting any of these exercises. All right, without further ado, here are three variations on the spinal twist featuring Piper the cat. Begin by stretching your arms and your legs up and down, getting a good nice stretch in your whole body. Flex and point your feet a few times. Now bring your knees to your chest and give them a squeeze. I like to rotate my ankles one way a little bit and then the other way a little bit. Now for the first variation of the twist, you bring your arms out, stretch to the sides and slowly bring your knees down to the right and your head goes to the left. Now I usually hold these positions for three deep belly breaths. The breath is very important and the deeper the better. You'll find that the deeper breaths you take the more your spine twists and the more cracks you'll get from your back. After three breaths bring the legs up to neutral and then twist down to the other side bringing the head to the right side the legs to the left side and again three deep belly breaths. There's Piper the cat coming to say hi. And then you inhale as your knees come up and bring them back down. For the second variation, you bring your left knee up, just one knee, and then bring it down to the side and twist. Hold this position for three deep belly breaths. And then switch to the other side, bring your right leg up and slowly bring it down onto the bed twisting your neck the opposite way three deep belly breaths and return to the starting position okay the third variation you bring your leg up straight point your toe to the ceiling to bring energy up your leg and then slowly bring your leg down to the side with your head going the opposite way halt for three breaths come back to starting position and the left leg, bring the toe and the leg up, keeping it as straight as you can. And lean over to the left leg to the right side and the head moves to the left. Three deep belly breaths and back to starting position. And the final variation is the most extreme twist you can get where you position yourself enough on the bed so you don't fall off, but enough so that you're your leg can hang off the side and just like in the last pose you bring your leg up and keep it as straight as possible pointing your toe to the sky and then 
let it fall over to the right with your head going the opposite direction. You'll probably need to play with your position a few times before you get this right. Um, I fell off the bed a couple times before I got it right, so don't be embarrassed if you do that. And keep your toe pointed as you come up and return to starting position. And then you have to switch to the other side. This is such a powerful twist. I had already done so many twists getting ready for this video and then on this last one I got more cracks in my chest as I did the deep belly breathing. So if you can work your way up to this one, then definitely do it. And there you have it. There's four variations on the spinal twist. My name is Trista. Thank you for joining me on your journey and my journey back to radiant health. I hope you enjoyed the spinal twist and I'll see you on the next video.